guys what's up welcome to vlogmas day three. Oh my gosh i can't believe we're already on day three i actually made it to day three i'm sure a lot of you didn't expect me to i had faith in myself it's only day three i'm acting like i made it to day 20 or something there day 20 I'm gonna be saying the same thing I am really pushing myself with vlogmas but I, I know I can do it this year I'm just like so confident in it so I have faith that I can give you guys a video every day up until Christmas but today I didn't really vlog much during the day because frankly all I did was upload my video work on some school stuff I still have to do more tonight and then clean the whole apartment y'all know I love my cleaning days I just didn't really feel like filming today but I have a clean with me planned that I'm going to film because I know people like watching clean with me videos and like watching the whole process of cleaning but cleaning is so therapeutic to me it's like the one thing that I do that I just like shut out the outside world I turn on my crime podcasts and it's just so therapeutic to be able to like take a space even if it's not super messy but just like have it look perfect afterwards is my favorite thing so i'm in workout clothes i'm gonna show you guys my fit right now actually let me see i don't know if the lighting will be better this way okay sorry it's kind of dark it's like six o'clock at night my little kitty cat fendi the og <laughs> a lot of you guys are asking about the cats as well so we have three cats in total fendi lulu and bean those are all three of our babies um which you guys will see probably throughout they kind of just do their own thing most of the day which is nice anyways here is my outfit i'm going down to the gym because we're gonna have a self-care night i actually already have a hair mask in so if you my hair is like crunchy so if you thought it looked weird it's just because there's a hair mask in. I put a lot in. I'll show you guys what I used in a second. But I have on this sweatshirt from Misguided. This is like my favorite thing I probably have bought all of 2020 because I wear it all the time. And then my sports bra is from Lululemon. And these leggings are from Balance. Obsessed with them. They... Your girl has not worked out in a while, so I'm pretty bloated, but these leggings are so flattering. I swear, they make me look better than any other legging. In my opinion, totally, totally worth the money. Plus, I just love the pattern of them. Like, so cool. Here's a better look at my fit. But yeah, I haven't been to the gym in quite a while. I am so excited to get back into it. I've been wanting to for like, three weeks and you know every day it was just like oh I'll go tomorrow I'll go tomorrow I'll go tomorrow but today we're making it happen we are going down to the gym and like I said I already put a hair mask in we're gonna have like a very much so self-care night vlog make like a healthy I think I'm gonna make a salad with like a bunch of veggies in it I don't know I might just like throw a bunch of random stuff in there and see what happens look at Fendi He's so big, you guys. You guys, he's almost three years old. He is so big. But yeah, I just, I feel like I haven't been taking care of myself. I go through phases with it where like I'm super on my game and I'm super like into skincare and just like moisturizing my body after the shower. Random, but it's something that I'm not doing right now. Um, you know, just like everything, I'm super into it. And then I fall off and I like completely forget about it. I'm like self-care who? So I'm trying to get back on it and try and be more balanced going forward and just like stick with it because it makes me feel so much better when I prioritize myself and make myself feel good. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna have just a nice night, you and me. It's gonna be amazing. The house is also super clean. So that's like a huge thing for self-care for me. I'm super affected by like my room and my apartment and everything. If it's not clean, I cannot function. Like I can't focus on anything. All my mind will think about is the messes. So that's why I love to clean because afterwards I just feel at peace in my head. Like I feel like a new woman right now, you guys, because candles are lit. The place looks amazing, it smells amazing, it's just like sparkling clean and I feel really good. Um, going into this bathroom, I can't wait to do a video with you guys all about like organization and stuff, but in here, this is Fab's bathroom, if it would focus, so you know, I don't really know. I have, you know, tampons or whatever those are, pads or tampons, but for the most part, this is Fab's bathroom, but I do keep my workout stuff should i take down these gloves i found these gloves when we were moving and i'm like oh my god i forgot those existed i never 
even use them um they're just for like working out and like weightlifting and stuff i won't bring those right now i'll bring those to like the regular gym i'm just going down to the apartment gym but i keep let's see i haven't used them in a while but essentially you put your foot on it and then you just like move it like this it's good for if you put like a booty band on and then you use these on your legs if you don't have access to a hip abduction machine or is it adduction abduction whatever it is Whichever one, you know, that works like your outer glutes. If you don't have access to one of those, those are really good to have. And then in here, oh my god, wait, I have gloves in here. Okay, wait, I'm like so confused. All right, irrelevant information. I'm just going <laughs> to pretend like I didn't see that. But in here, I keep all of my little workout booty bands. I got these on Amazon too. They're called peach bands. I'll link them down below. They're actually really good. I like that they're fabric instead of the, um, what's the other brand? Like rubber. Cause those ride up your legs and they're just not it. So I like these a lot. I actually think that they really help with like growing, um, like my side hip area. I don't really care about having like super wide hips or anything like that, but I do feel like my hips like over, I don't know, over like the course of maybe the past like year and a half, I feel like they've gotten a little bit wider than they used to be so I feel like the bands have been helping with that making me look a little bit thicker down here and a little bit slimmer up here which you know right now I haven't worked out in a while so <laughs> a little bloated but it's fine you know one step at a time you guys let's just go down to the gym for the first time because I haven't been in a while let's not set unrealistic goals let's be realistic with ourselves and just get our first workout in no pressure. All right, so I just made it to the gym. Literally the only one in here. So nice. It's so echoey, so I apologize about the echo. But I guess I'll just show you guys around. This is my first time working out in here too. So I'm very excited. We have weights here. Little box jump thing. I can do squats. Little, what is this, boxing? All these things that I don't really know what to do with. Um, rowing machine bike, ellipticals, stairmaster, treadmills, and then they have like a bunch of lifting stuff too, which is nice. They have like a lot more for legs, I feel like, than most places do. Cable machine over there, a couple kettleballs. I have no idea what all this shit is, but maybe I'll find out one day. Um, leg press right here. And then oh, they have ropes, cool. And then over here, let's see, hope no one's in here. Okay, over here is three spin bikes. I'll just walk in. I wasn't going to, but now I'm in here. Um, three spin bikes, they're not like Pelotons or anything, but I don't know, Fab was like telling me something about them because Fab has been in here before. This is like a phone, is it? I don't know, it's weird, but they have a giant TV on the wall. It doesn't even look that big on camera, but trust me, it's huge. Two bars, which is really nice. Little yoga balls, mats. Really everything that you could possibly need is in here. But I'm gonna get started with my workout. I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do yet. I'm kinda just gonna play around a little bit and figure it out along the way. I don't have any plans since it's the first day back, but I'm so excited. It feels so good in here and I feel so good. I'll be long, I'll be long to you. y'all i just finished 10 minutes on the stairmaster the lighting is not the best up here but i'm officially dead already so i know i'm out of shape because i used to be able to do 30 minutes on the stairmaster i did level eight and then towards the end i upped it to level nine I'm already dying so this is wonderful
All right, I just had to say, because I just filmed myself using the leg press and I look really weird doing it because I've never used a leg press like this before where the two legs aren't together. It's weird because it's hard to keep your legs both at the same like level as you're pushing the weight. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just different <laughs> because the, normally the plate that you put your feet on is just always together. I think it's because, so this is like a calf machine too. Yeah, you like raise it or do something. I don't, I don't know how to do all that. I'm gonna have to have Fab show me how to do that another day. How to like configure this for all of that because I don't really care to figure it out right now. But I just wanted to say, it's weird. Comment down below if you've ever used a leg press like this before. I'll get used to it, but it's just different. My camera says that it's gonna die, so I'm gonna take a shower and then switch out the battery with one that's fully charged. But I wanted to show you before I wash out this hair mask, sorry, it's so echoey in my bathroom. The workout was really good. I didn't do anything too crazy. I didn't film everything, but it was good to like just get back into the swing of things. As I get more comfortable, let me know down below. Do you guys wanna see more workouts incorporate into the vlogs or do you not care? Just let me know, I won't be offended either way. But um, the hair mask I used, this is what it's called. I don't know, I don't know where it came from. It was just in my cabinet. I don't remember buying this. Actually, I know I didn't buy this, so I have no idea. But it says, deep condition and hydration for softer, silkier, and healthier looking hair. That sounds amazing. So looking forward to seeing how my hair feels after because I really let this hair mask soak up in my hair. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take a shower real quick. I guess I'll show you guys what I use in the shower. Okay, really quick, I don't want my camera to die. Um, I'm gonna shave. I always use the Skin to Mitt. Um, this one is for dry skin, it's really good. I have like really sensitive skin on my face and on my body, so I love this. Um, so yeah, I'll shave my legs and everything. And then I love the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using from Nexus, I got it at Target. This is the, what is it, Ultimate Moisture Shampoo, and then I'm pretty sure it's the Ultimate Moisture Conditioner. Yes, Ultimate Moisture Conditioner. I really like it. It actually makes my hair feel really nice and nice and soft. My hair is obviously really dry because I put a lot of blonde into it and make it really blonde, so naturally it's gonna be a lot more dry than most people's hair, so it's nice to get the extra moisture. And then I love the smell of this body wash. This is all from Target. The Olay Fresh Outlast Rose Water and Nectar. I really like it. So that's everything I use in the shower. Nothing too crazy, but I'm just going to take a quick but good, nice shower. I'm so excited. Hi guys, so I just got out of the shower. As you can see, hair is a very fresh wet. My hair feels amazing after that hair mask. It really did make it feel like way smoother when I was washing it. I noticed like how truly smooth it feels, but um, we're gonna do self-care later, do like a face mask. Oh God, I'm running out. Okay, as I was saying before, my camera rudely cut me off because I am running out of storage so much because of Vlogmas. But um, before we do self-care, skincare, and talk to you guys and all that stuff, I am going to make the steak salads because like I said, I can't stop thinking about it. It's so good and it's just gonna be amazing because we have avocados that are like perfectly ripe and ready to be used and it's just gonna be perfect it's so funny too because fab walked in the door and i hadn't even told him that i was thinking about making it but i told you guys earlier he walked in the door and he was like you know what you should make tonight steak salads and i was like oh my god i'm already making that so that's how you know it's good when he asked for it and he's like thinking about it too he said he was thinking about it the whole car ride home so trust me when i say this is so good if you make it at home let me know it is the best ever and i it fills you up so much and i crave it constantly it's definitely up there with my buffalo chicken Caesar salad. It's like top two. All right, I got everything you're gonna need out. I'm so sad, you guys, because I normally always um, add black beans into it. I didn't realize that we don't have any. We only have in the cabinet um, chickpeas and white beans. So if you have black beans at home, add them in because it changes the salad and I'm so sad that I don't have them but it's okay so everything else you're gonna need is obviously some steak either sirloin 
steak tips. I'm gonna cut them up into like smaller pieces just cause that's way too big in my opinion to put on top of a salad. Um, avocado, I'm gonna add tomatoes into mine. I love tomatoes, I'm gonna warm them up a little bit. I'm weird, I only like tomatoes when they're a little bit warm. I can't eat them when they're raw. I don't know what it is. It's just my preference, I guess. Um, for dressings, I like Italian, but the creamy Caesar is actually really good too. You guys know this is my favorite Caesar dressing, creamy Caesar from Bolt House Farms. I think there was a shortage of this for a good point of time because I couldn't find it anywhere. This one or the ranch, which are my two favorites, but they're finally back in stock at my Target, so I picked up one the other day. And then other toppings, just cheese of your choice. My first choice would be feta, but I'm gonna do Parmesan just because I don't have any feta, sadly. <laughs> Clearly I'm not as prepared for this as I should be, but it's okay, it's gonna taste good anyways. Um, bell pepper, red onion, some crispy onions, this is key definitely get these they have them in like a variety of different brands at whatever grocery store you go to but everyone always has them get them so good on top of salads and then this is just some corn that i'm gonna add on too so there's everything let's start cooking you guys oh yeah and you need lettuce duh molly oh my god i didn't take it out but you need lettuce too to make a salad makes sense all right, I cut up all of the steak into smaller pieces. This is actually a lot of steak. I'm surprised, because normally when you buy steak, it's like a really small portion, but this is a lot, so that's good. We'll have leftovers probably, but I seasoned it with like the same stuff that I always do, you guys. I did a little bit of this like barbecue seasoning. I think Fab already put it back though. I can't reach it. It's all the way up there. It's just McCormick barbecue. It's like for the grill, but I seasoned everything like I said with the same stuff I always do a little bit of pink sea salt just because I love the taste of like fresh sea salt on my food I did a ton of black pepper. I like it Really peppery on my steak my favorites. Are you guys sick of me talking about this yet? I'll talk about this till the day I die the Trader Joe's onion salt is the best thing Trader Joe's sells No one talks about it enough and then we have garlic powder, my favorite, and then I used up all of the um, crushed red pepper. So everything is seasoned. I'm just gonna heat up a pan with some olive oil and garlic, add it on, cook it up. little tip I'm no chef so I don't know if this is actually a good tip or not but since I'm gonna have to cut up all of like the other stuff over here and prep it I keep my steak on a really really low heat while it's cooking because you don't want to overcook it so if you put it on medium and then like cutting up this stuff takes too long you're gonna overcook your steak so I keep it on a low heat while I'm cutting things and then by the time I'm done cutting I can just turn up the heat a little bit and it'll be pretty much done. I don't know if it's bad to like cook the steak on a really low heat for a little while but it's just what I do. Okay. So many different colors here you guys but I'm so happy the avocado is like literally the perfect ripeness it's gonna be so good because like avocado when it's not perfectly ripe just tastes weird to me but it is perfection today so I'm gonna do half on my salad half on fabs I always add a little bit of crushed sea salt on top of the avocado after I cut it because it just it just makes it taste better just a little bit of sea salt on it and I am in love so Got everything cut up. I'm gonna saute these tomatoes for me and then also some corn. I turned up the heat a little bit on the steak. As you can see, all of like the 
juices from the steak come out. It's gonna be so good, you guys. It only needs like, oh, I didn't even realize you guys can't see anything. I was gonna say, it only needs like a couple more minutes. All right, I just washed and chopped up some romaine for our lettuce. Just gonna keep it simple with some good old romaine lettuce. That sounds good to me. So over here, we have the corn and tomatoes, all perfection, cooked to perfection. And then we have the steak. I turned off the heat and I preheated the air fryer and I'm going to add the steak into the air fryer honestly just for like three minutes and I'm gonna see if it makes it crispy on the outside Gotta update y'all, it's sizzling and it looks like it's perfectly crispy on the outside. I just did it in the air fryer for 400 degrees for three minutes, nothing too crazy. Um, it looks perfect. I think next time I'm just gonna cook it in the air fryer all together. I never wanna mess up steak when I cook it because it's so expensive, but this is what the salads are looking like. Struggled a little bit to make the avocado look extra pretty. All right guys, Fab's helping me record, but I just finished adding Everything, just finishing off with my favorite Fab Lake Seeds too. Mm -hmm. Crispy onions, they taste so good with steak too. So this is gonna be amazing. Do you want more? Yes. Okay. So good, and these look literally incredible. Why are you making a mess? Mm. <laughs> Did you try the steak or just the onions? The steak. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Good. Um, I don't know what dressing you want to do. I got it. Okay, I'm going to do Italian. All right, you guys. Fab went with Caesar on his, and then I did Italian on mine. But here is the finished product. Does this not look amazing? <laughs> like, it looks so good. Both of ours do. So much color in it. And it's just going to be so, so, so delicious. The only thing that would make it better for me is black beans. But we don't have any of those right now. So, make and do with what we got. But... Let me know if you guys make this at home. It's a really good dinner, especially too, if you're making food for your boyfriend because he'll love it, especially if he's trying to be healthy. So good and packed with protein. So, love it so much. My favorite salad at the moment. It's beautiful. This looks like a picture perfect salad. Good morning, you guys. About to have my last La Colombe coffee in peppermint mocha. Oh my god, I'm gonna make a run to Trader Joe's just for this because it is that good. Trust me, it is so, 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 so good. Definitely part of my self-care is having good coffee and this, this is good coffee. All right, so still to this day, I get so many questions about where these glasses are from. You guys, they're from Amazon. I always have them linked down below because I use them in pretty much every video. I just keep them constantly down there. But I wanted you guys to see for yourself the magic that is this drink it may be a little bit dramatic but this drink is the best ever so good all right i always let it sit for a little bit after i pour it because there's like a natural or i don't know if natural is the right word but there's a foam that comes up to the top once you pour it so good you guys these are like the best coffees Ever. Hi guys, what's up? So I'm in my office. Um, I have this mirror right here sitting on the ground of course because I don't have any furniture. I can't wait until I get furniture and then I can film videos for you guys so much easier because it'll like look cute in the background and stuff. But I'm about to do a face mask. Um, this is a clay face mask from Innisfree. I always, I think I pronounce it wrong like every time. If it'll focus it's like a pore clearing face mask i've used this before it's actually really good it's super thick so yeah but i love everything from this brand it's so good it's such a good skincare brand they sell it at sephora 
um and i never heard of them before but they started sending me stuff and everything that they send me i always really really love um i kind of wanted to just like do a face mask and talk to you guys about life and do like a life update to end off this vlog because yeah i don't know i'm like gonna vlog again tonight i have it planned out like to vlog just tonight because fab and i are going on a little date like we're going um what are we doing we're going to get our nails done <laughs> together because he has off today so we're going to get our nails done and then um well he's gonna get like a pedicure and stuff and i'll get like the fancy stuff and then um we're gonna go on a date to this really cool restaurant but I'll share more of that in a vlog, um, the next vlog that you guys see, but I wanted to do a face mask and just do a life update because I feel like I haven't done a life update in so long. I'm going to apply this on thick because I just feel like it. It's like a nice gray color. feels so good, but yeah, I used to do life updates all the time and I just never do anymore because honestly there isn't that much to update y'all on like my life is not that crazy but um i wanted to check in about like my mental health and things like that because i feel like i'm in a completely different spot right now and in a good way so well in a semi good way um i wanted to touch on so i'm doing vlogmas this year and so far so good i'm pretty confident that i can complete it actually like i'm really confident that i can complete it and like do every day and like make it work and make it happen um which will be a first for me you guys know i'm like really bad about i'm very self-aware so anything that people like think that i don't realize about myself trust me i realize um like i'm extremely self-aware of the issues that i oh I just got a face mask in my hair, but I'm extremely self-aware of the issues that like I cause to myself and like the self-destruction <laughs> that I do on my own. But I wanted to talk about commitment and all of those types of things because it's something that I've struggled with for so long. Um, you know, constantly saying to you guys like, oh, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna upload these videos and then I'm gonna like um do this video schedule and upload this and do this and i then i just don't do it and i think that people like think that i'm like really lazy or that i don't care and i wanted to talk about it because i don't know if anybody else struggles with this i'm finally getting out of that rut but i was in this like dilemma internally for probably like four years now and i feel like i'm finally getting out of it um essentially like i how do i explain this the reason why i would come out and say like oh my god like i have a new video schedule i'm gonna be uploading so much you guys are gonna love it was because i would have these random bursts of energy and i would just like it like i don't want to like make it sound so extreme because it wasn't but like i would have all of these big goals for myself and i would you know write it all down in my planner make it like super intense and i was like yes like i can do this i can do this and then i would have a bad mental health day like the next day and i couldn't do it like the thing with me ever since i moved out of la or ever since i moved to la um i had never really before that struggled with my mental health um you guys know i used to upload so much on youtube in high school and that's like a big reason why i have like a big audience today is because i was so dedicated in high school to my channel i was dedicated to school i was like dedicated to everything and i was really on top of my game and then i moved to la and i got so i don't know if it, i'm assuming it was depression but i was never like diagnosed or anything so i don't want to say that because i wasn't technically diagnosed but <laughs> either way i was mentally like not okay in LA and I thought that moving back to Massachusetts would like fix my issues and make me feel back to like normal again that's all I wanted to do was just feel normal again and feel like myself and like be back to like being productive and being like the person that I like wanted to be because in my head I wanted to upload and I wanted to 
be productive and I wanted to be organized, but I just couldn't get there. And moving back here, I thought it would fix it, but it didn't. And I just, it was, it's been so hard for like the past four years because I know that everyone thinks that I'm just lazy or that I don't care, but I wanted to upload so bad. I just physically could not get myself out of bed some days. Like most days I would like literally just sleep all day because I couldn't I couldn't get myself to do things like I had I knew that what I had to do and I had plans for it but bring myself to actually physically do things I couldn't like it was just like every day I could barely do one simple task and um my life was like that for the past four years and it was so incredibly hard because like i said from the outside looking in it probably just looked like i didn't care i look insane now but it's okay um i was just like i don't know like i so desperately wanted to get back to the old version of myself and i just couldn't i couldn't get there and it's weird but starting school it like I don't even feel like I'm in school because I'm only taking two classes and it was like a pretty easy adjustment back in and I don't really spend like a ton of time on school but I still have good grades and stuff because it's it's not that challenging yet for me because it's just like the beginning classes you know it's nothing like a crazy course that's super hard or anything so it was like an easy adjustment it's definitely you know been a lot more work but it was a pretty easy adjustment. So I hate saying like I'm in school, blah, 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 school, 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 because I'm not like spending, you know, 10 hours a day on school. I'm just not, I don't have to. But going back to school made me like a different person and it, in a good way. Like I just, before school, I had nothing to, like no purpose, I guess is, how i would describe it i felt like every day like what what is the point like what is the point in doing any of this and it's so funny well it's not funny but like i wanted to go back to school for so long like literally four years and then one day i just woke up and i was like you know what i'm just gonna apply today like i've been wanting to apply for so long and i just didn't and then i woke up and i was like i'm gonna do it today like today is the day that i I'm going to apply to school. I got accepted and before I knew it, I was enrolled in classes and tuition was paid and everything was like all set in stone. It happens really fast, but I'm so incredibly happy that it did because now, even though like school isn't that serious yet, I feel every day like I wake up and I get shit done compared to me before. Like even it sounds so stupid and I know some people are going to roll their eyes, but me going shopping and like doing Christmas shopping and going to Target and vlogging it and then editing the vlog and you know, those things like people are probably like, girl, that's like easy. <laughs> like That is not a lot of stuff to do in a day before I wouldn't have been able to do that. Like I physically would not have been able to i don't know why like i don't know what why i couldn't do things but like i could not bring myself to get out of bed or do more than just make myself coffee for the day i just like i don't know how to describe it i just couldn't bring myself to do anything and now i feel like i have so much more energy i feel like i'm in a really good place mentally i know like the direction that i want to head in in my life before i was just like where am i going like what am i doing every day just felt like purposeless and now i'm like so eager to upload videos i'm so like appreciative for youtube and it gives me something to do that i actually enjoy and i'm falling in love with making content again and editing it and uploading it and seeing all the like comments roll in and seeing the views and things like that like i'm it makes me so happy again and for so long i just I felt like I didn't feel anything and I didn't feel happy or sad. I just was like straight face, like no neutral, like nothing really made me feel good or bad. I don't know where I'm going with this. It's kind of, you know, a ramble, but, but now I feel like I'm feeling emotions and I'm actually like a happier person. And it's so weird, like just starting school, like kind of snowballed all of these other good things I'm not gonna cry um the holiday season is like 
really hard for me recently like mentally with school and stuff like that i'm so good and like my day-to-day -day life i am so much better like before like i said i couldn't do anything like i was just so sad all the time that i couldn't bring myself to work or bring myself to go to the gym or bring myself to even do something as simple as like wash my face like i couldn't bring myself to do those things and um this is a big reason why I put on the face mask because I would tell myself that I can't cry because I have a face mask on. Literally every time I try and talk about it, I just start crying. But my family dynamic did like a 180. Um, in the holiday season, it's really hard because it just doesn't feel the same and it hurts. If your family um, has a good family dynamic and you guys like come together during the holiday season and it's like a wonderful thing you were very blessed if your parents are still together and they are in like a healthy happy relationship you are very blessed but the holiday season is hard and it's nice to have school and vlogmas not to distract myself but just to i guess distract myself but also just give me something to actually be happy about and actually enjoy because I feel like without those things like I would just still be so sad. How do I put this like essentially I feel like I'm becoming More so back to my old self and back to like the person that I wanted to be for so long because I wake up every day Like super early. I mean for me early like I wake up at like 7 15 ish and I go to bed at like midnight and somehow I still wake up in the morning which again I know to most people these sound like super basic tasks and super just like things that a lot of you probably just do as a no-brainer but for me being able to like every day consistently wake up early and get things done is unreal because for so long it would be like one day out of the month i would get a lot of stuff done and i would be feeling so good but then the next day i would just like i couldn't get out of bed or i couldn't do anything or i couldn't and I like I wanted to but I literally physically couldn't bring myself to do it and now like Consistently I do things every day, you know, like I'm not just sitting at home all day long crying or like sulking or watching TV Like I don't even remember the last time I watched TV. Well, I don't have Wi-Fi right now So <laughs> that's a big reason but I used to just like watch Netflix literally from the moment I woke up until the moment I went to bed for like seven days a week <laughs> if you're feeling like that just trust me you are not alone um i would say the biggest thing that helped me is forcing myself to do something that i knew i couldn't fuck up you know like i'm paying for school on my own so i can't fuck that up like i can't slack off with school because i'm paying for it myself so that was like the number one thing that like snowballed everything else for me because once I started doing that, I was like, oh, like I'm getting in the momentum of things. This isn't that bad. Like being productive isn't that bad. And I just like so many people in my life didn't get it. And they were like, why can't you just like upload? Like, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Like Molly, like what do you do all day? And I'm like, I don't know. Like every day just blends together. <laughs> but essentially, I guess I just wanted to let you guys know that I feel like things are getting better. And it's not just like a one day thing this is like been for like three months now of like things getting better and it's only going to get better in 2021 i got like such good news the other day okay we back i ran out of storage but what i'm saying is i've just like once i started to become more productive and i started like slowly obviously like i'm not out here you know hustle queen or a girl boss like i'm just i'm just starting okay you guys it's been a while so like it's all new to me um and i'm slowly transitioning it's not like you know i'm not starting a business or doing anything insane right now i'm just i'm just trying to make it through the days and so far so good but um i just got like really good news for 2021 about a couple of things a couple of brand deals that like just don't feel real like literally don't feel real i signed on to um three just to, like give you guys like a little bit of insight i guess i signed on to three separate long-term brand deals for 2021 and i want to cry about this because it just doesn't feel real it's all with companies that i love so much and long-term brand deals mean that like i hope that i can say this on camera but essentially like i signed into um i'm not gonna say what companies because i don't i definitely can't say that on camera but a long-term brand deal is where you sign on with a company and you say like 
every month I'm going to work with you. So it's nice because as someone who is self-employed, you know, like, okay, every month I am making this amount of money with this brand or like for the whole year, the brand is paying me this much money and it puts me like so much more at ease because, you know like i finally took that first step and things from there have just been going so much better i don't know why i'm crying about this like it's not sad i don't know if this was like anything of substance that i was talking about but yeah i just wanted to like let you guys know where i'm at what's going on I'm feeling good for like the first time in a long time. Like I feel like any other time that I did one of these sit down life updates with you guys, it would be like something super sad happened to me or something, you know, affected me or I'm in a really bad place. But like for the first time I feel like good and it's weird. Like it's, it's really weird. Like every day I wake up and I'm like, okay, like today I'm gonna film, today I'm gonna edit, today I'm gonna respond to emails, today I'm gonna do this and that and like do school and like, all these things and it's like now it feels like second nature to me to do things with my day but for so long it just it was so hard i hope that throughout vlogmas i don't do too many like just sit down videos like this kind of because i know you guys want to see vlogs it's vlogmas i did vlog you know last night a little bit but i feel like i didn't do as good of a job but um I was tired last night i fell asleep you guys i didn't even say the reason why i didn't vlog last night doing like skincare and like this talk was because um i fell asleep with a trader joe's hold the cone like those little mini ice cream cones i fell asleep with one of those in my hand that's how tired i was i don't know why i was tired but i woke up this morning with wonderful energy so today's gonna be a good day i'm so excited to vlog um fab and i's day date and date nights because we're going to such a good restaurant we've never been well we have been but like we haven't had food there it's complicated i'll explain it in the next vlog but i'm so excited for today it's gonna be a good day and i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog miss i know it's like a little bit random okay but I'm uploading, so that is something, right? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, let me know down below what you guys wanna see for vlogs. Fab and I have a couple plans. We're gonna do gingerbread houses, and we have like this light show that we have tickets to. That's at like the end of the month though. But let me know down below. Um, we wanna do like more stuff like at home too. That's like things that you guys could do at home too. So if you guys have any requests, let me know. I have some stuff planned, but nothing set in stone yet. So if you have any requests, let me know. But I love you guys. I'm finally going to go. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna go wash off my face mask because it's cracking with every move that I make. I look insane, <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you tonight with Vlogmas, but I'll see you tomorrow with Vlogmas Day 4. Bye.